Yes, welcome to the Jamaica Young Police channel. To our loyal viewers and subscribers at the channel, we are a group of law abiding citizens who believe in the rule of law and respect the rights of every citizen, but not the ones who do not subscribe to such behavior. We do believe in and support preemptive strikes because it saves lives. That is a logical conclusion because preemptive strikes save lives and prevent the further loss of lives. We are all about saving lives on this channel. We at this channel aid criminals, their financiers, their supporters, enablers and the likes with a passion and we do not want them over here. Yes, let us repeat ourselves. We do not want any criminal supporters over here. Please, we do not want your views, your subscriptions, your likes or your comments. Please go elsewhere where the red carpet is waiting for you over here we want you the criminal supporters enablers financiers and all the likes to go to prison or madness let me repeat myself we are the jamaica young police channel we do not want the criminals yeah so you know when we at the jamaica young police channel i've been telling people that um you know we know that uh, yes, there are many police officers who are aligned to the Klansman gang. And there's a man right there, his name is Duppy Police. And you know, he was a part of the gang. He had robbed rob Bulby. Bulby's Bul quirk. Yes, and Bulby made him pee and with corn to his skin. Yeah, man, is and the thief never likes to see the thief with long bag. And that's how we get clam clam, you know, Bulby, they, they shoot him up because he robbed them their coke. And this man, uh, his current name is Carpal Clifford Coleman. Yes, and you know, he's my batch mate, but the man is also a PMP LGBTQ plus activist. You know, the, um, and the, his vote of office is more to the PMP party than to the people of Jamaica. I am telling you that because in 1993, this was a same man. He, along with Donovan Ox O'Connor and other police officers, tried to disarm the late Edward Siaga's bodyguard and to get them killed. Yes, this man, Corporal Clifford Coleman, he used to be a detective. Not a smart guy because he was arrested and charged for killing a dead man. Yes, I know that some people might be confused. That's why we know we like when people can think. So we could break it down easier before we go into the meat of the matter. Killing a dead man that is already dead is when the person dead lifeless life gone out of the body and the person who's alive go over the dead person or stay whatever distance they want and shoot the dead body again so by doing that you can be arrested and charged with the murder and that's all Duppy police that's how he got the name Duppy police because the only thing that he's good for is killing Duppy so you know that we at the Jamaica Young Police Channel embrace and support Sir P at Politics Spot for the work that he has been doing over the years. We want you to know that his latest video and commentary and depiction of what is happening to witnesses who have testified in the Klansman Wandan gang trial. You know, we, what we have been saying for years that our politicians on both sides of the aisles do not want to rid Jamaica of crime because it is beneficial to them to maintain power and gain wealth. Yes, that's why they, they don't want to get rid of crime, not until it eat them, you know. So I've been telling people that for years, you know, because I've been seeing how they operate. Because if they get rid of crime, you know, the people will be able to, the people will be more educated and think. So they have to have make sure that the people are always suffering so that they can manipulate the system Right, right now they're using the police to be sick, um, soldiers to you know, maintain law and order in Jamaica to let people sleep at nights where there's nowhere else in the world that happens unless it's a war zone. Who's Jamaica war with? Themselves. It's And they give these criminals credence because you have human rights group and you have all kind of groups that protect them but there's no one there for the victims in which the government is supposed to purported it's supposed to be the ones not looking out for the citizens, the law-abiding citizens, but not so in Jamaica. In Jamaica, the criminals, uh, they commit crimes against the citizens of Jamaica. The same citizens of Jamaica have to pay, have to fund their legal fund, 
and give them the best lawyers for them to make sure that they, they, they can find some loophole or some crack in the law for them to be acquitted and then they come back and commit more crimes. So that's why Jamaica is a criminal's paradise. Yes. So we have been saying that for years that politicians on both sides of the aisles do not want to rid Jamaica of crime because it suits them. First, let us at the Jamaica Young Police Channel show that what he has said is true because we want you to see the opposition leader Mark Golden marching with the gang leader from the Upsetter Gang led by known killer Danville Palmer who left Horizon prison last year, October and he's in his midst. So this man is a you know is a murderer and a known murderer and he's in the midst of the the opposition leader, Mark Golden. So that's how Jamaica is, you know. Criminals, you know, put on a pedestal, revere, lauded, celebrate, emulate, emulated, and they want to look use them to replicate them. You understand? Yes. Danville Farmer. So it only reinforced what Sir P and the banker who testify against some of Jamaica's most depraved minded criminals like Andre, Brian and others. So we want you, our loyal viewers and subscribers, listen to one of the witnesses from the Klansman Wandan trial. Yes, we want you to listen to, to the witness. You watch, you listen, you decide. yeah, yeah. Dog, them say my give me more for the unit, is it? Off the man. Can't mm -hmm. listen to them, no? All right, no one we are two hours after the end, foreign charge, you turn up the thing, I saw the thing can't do the right for your charge, is it? I'm telling from all the man. Dog, be a man, they are foreign, be a monk, dog, they might give you charge, dog. You need to tell you, I still have one to charge, is it, me? True. I'm going to go and talk to them. No, I'm going to call them on the phone. I'm going to call them. Everything add up in the dog. That's the man that I understand, you know? Charge, I tell you, from what you want to to the dog, how do you get all that tough link to charge you? Hear that? Yeah. The dog with the wee thing there, is it? You have to help it, man, so, is it? Yeah, yeah. You have to help it, my friend. Yeah, they are there, 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 Mm. Oh, I'm not still, I need to link up still, but some of the I'm going to get a link. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right then, bro. All right. But... Okay. 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 I have to work my show up on the case and do the not go with me, so do me. Alright then. Yeah, I'm to i to 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 I'm five or one number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. five or one number. Yeah, one number. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 
kusababisha kujashika lazima mambo yakamchekio yani wao sio kabisa lazima I would never when I want um tell me when I advise him to do that in a car, you know, such a million dollar door. Hmm? Such a million million dollar not tell you. Hmm. Where else do you come to know what you should do? I don't know. Aksa, Aksa, what you don't don't care? Yeah, you can say they're not in his phone, so I don't want to know what you don't care. Aksa, she's a different liar. Only if she's a woman go all over again and sell. Hmm. Yes, man, boy, that's the man C4. That man is an era, you know. I doubt that you know Jamaica would ever have someone like him ever again to testify in this fashion. You understand? Because what he has done in a man, he has done that no other witnesses to come forward and do you know testify in this manner, provide all the evidence for the prosecution to make sure that they convict the, um, these people. But you know that Brian Judge Lego Sykes is in the pocket of the the PMP LGBTQ plus party so that's the reason why he did not do anything about the case you know he, he tries his he tried his very best to exonerate these men you understand that's what he has done so now that you have listened to the recording it reinforces what we at the Jamaica Young Police Channel have been saying and Labor Day May 23rd Mark Golden gave us this video has evidence that the politicians in Jamaica do not want to get rid of crime and criminals around the people. You watch, you listen, you listen. Yeah, so we wanted to watch this video. This is the march. Um, yeah, the march from Jonestown to Anatown. That's Mark Golden right there. Just looking at and um, you're going to see, you see Danville Palmer behind him. Yes, that's the, 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 the upset of gang leader, the known killer. Yes, the known killer and murderer. He was released. Um, he was released last year, October, from the Horizon Prison, and you're going to see him. You're going to see him in several, several prop up in the video to show you know that is to give him credence and you know, put him on a pedestal, you know, as Bory Boy and fed him up because Mark Golden is an opposition leader, you know, you know the man who can be. See, look, see that's Danville Palmer right there. He's right behind, right there with the little bug across his shoulder. Yes, so he's marching with um, the opposition leader, Mark Golden. That's the man who's supposed to be the next Prime Minister. So I don't know if it's that Jamaica that you people wanted. You understand? Because you remember in time we had a Prime Minister like that. You know what happened to Jamaica? You know, um, place were burned down, firebomb, people die. People have to run, leave them houses. All those empty buildings that you're seeing in Kingston, and its environs it's because of the tri because of the political war that was brought onto the people and the terrorism imported to by um by the late michael manley you understand it's i am from the community of jonestown where they claim that they are marching from but they didn't march a drive that's a man that's danville palmer right there right beside george pong that's the man that pointing right there that's a known murderer that's him right there with the opposition leader so we at the jamaica young police and we're not making up anything you know so this goes to show you you know this is what happened in the 70s with Bore boy and fed them up when michael manley put them on a pedestal and these men and that's him you, 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 you uh, um that's him seem that's him right there you understand that's him right there behind the police you understand and sir george pong right there and that's mark golden that is that man is a known killer, you know. When we say killer, we not a police officer, or soldier, we not a murderer. That's him right there, Danville Palmer. See him right there, stand up with his hands folded and bent. Yes, he's bowing his head now because yes, and hiding behind the police from the camera. 
but you know that he's feeling big that you know he has arrived here that's him back in a way yeah because he doesn't want his enemies or those to see what he looks like now but you know he cannot miss the limelight of being you know shown that he's arrived and you know he has credence from the opposition leader marching with them and the worst part about it is they claim that they have a peace march but where are the guns so we continue the journey and that, that's a police officer there that giving credence to these people you know and their criminality you know so we see that um, you have watched the video and you have listened to the witness the banker um, from the clansman ground child that's see them right there and that's Palmer right behind George Pong there yeah you know George Pong you can see that he's not only getting older, but you can know that he's sick, you know, more or less he has diabetes or something like that. You understand? So they are in Anatone. Anatone is not a part of Mark Golding's constituency, you know. That's a labor right constituency. But because that's where he can only make money in that section of the city because you, what, they, you cannot make any money in Jonesome because it's just a little ordinary people that live there. But down in Anatone, it's close to the business district. You understand? So that's him right there. So we want you to listen to what Mark Golden is saying right now. Right next door, and we're neighbors, and I'm glad that we have made a good and solid acquaintance today. And we'll be trying to do what we can over time to pr provide some kind of support for what we can do for the community. And uh, starting, I think, on Labor Day, the, the sports program, we'll be putting some support behind that and we'll move from there. What I'm asking of you all is think of Hannah Town as one community, as a brand, yes. and be proud of your community because Hannah Town is a very famous place yes. and it's a place that is dear to our heart, my heart, in my capacity leader of the People's National Party. We know the history of Hannah Town in terms of the support over the years. So respect is due from us to you. And I would just say, we've started, we've put in some work. I want to thank George for his efforts in that regard to try and settle the things that have been going on. And we have a good understanding from the man them who are, you know, who are close to it. So based on that, we expect better things going forward and we will continue to be committed to being part of the process of maintaining a level vibes in the place. So let us see what if we can achieve that and be one community, one loving community, one and a town where people can feel nice, people can do them business, people can live a an, an peaceful life and we can move forward together. So just bless upon yourself and thank you for the love. Bless it. <laughs> yeah, so you, you have watched the video and you know you have heard you see you know you have seen for yourself not any makeup thing that this known killer Danville Palmer was the leader of the upset again right behind Mark Golan in his midst and they are crying for peace but we are the guns if there is any peace there should be guns to be handed over but there is no guns to hand over because they don't believe in um, giving up the illegal guns. So Mark Golden is giving them credence as if what they're doing is something legal. These guns are to kill people, so it's an illegal act that they're doing with it. And the opposition leader, who can be the prime minister in the next election, is giving credence to these men. And we at the Jamaica Young Police Channel, we denounce such behavior because criminals are criminals and supposed to be treated as such. This man should not be in the company of one of our lawmakers. So, you know, the, the lawmaker is supporting the lawbreakers. So that's why we know that Angela Brownberg, that's why she was given a seat in Parliament as a reward for the crimes that her father has committed on behalf of the PMP LGBTQ plus party, in which we see it as a criminal organization. As we have told you before in two other videos before, that we, by this weekend, we are going to give you the name of the person who had received, who had passed on the name of the person who gave Tesha Miller the order to kill Douglas Chambers. Yes, yes, someone from within the Klansman organization have supplied us with the names 
you understand, and the vehicle that they went in and everything. And where after Tesha Miller came out and stuff like that. So we'll update you about the same. Yes, and we know that um, the, the low IQ people, they're going to say that, yes, the Jamaica Young Police Channel is a labor right channel. Yes, it's not a labor right channel. We're just here speaking the truth. Because both political parties are in bed with the criminals. And we just want them to denounce them. We know that the PMP, we, born and grown Jonestown, I know George Pan for my was a little boy. George Pan cannot tell you that he have ever spoken to me because I never talked to him. Because I know that George Pan is a gunman. Period. But that for another day, and he was he is the leader of the Bibo Opasi. Bibo Opasi is not a is not a dancing crew. It's a gang that with guns that kill people. You understand? So the the clansman, you know, um so Mark Golden provided us with this video on Labour Day. You know, when other politicians were around in you know in um, invoking positivity to the youths them, Mark Golden was walking with a known murderer from Jonestown to Anatone, talking about peace. What kind of peace? Or if you live in a society where criminals um, decide when to war and when to have peace. And the police is there with them. Even the deputy superintendent is a disgrace to the police force. You could not get me as a police officer. When I was a detective, no officer could not detail me for such duty because what they're doing is illegal. So I would not give credence to no illegal activity. You know, but that's how some people are, you know, they have no shame. You understand? So the Klansman one done gang trial, which is currently underway because it's not over in Jamaica, and Chief Justice Brian Lego Sykes, who is beholden to the PMP LGBTQ plus party and its former leader, Dr. Peter Phillips, have position, has postponed the sentences of these menaces to the Jamaican society until September 2023. Because he's trying to see if the Jamaican people will forget about the case so that he can give Andre Blackman Bryan and the others a short sentence and release them from custody for the next general election to come out from jail and, and unleash havoc upon the Jamaican people. That's what they have done. So the trial is the most significant criminal case in the country's history, involving testimony of dozens of witnesses. Some witnesses have alleged that the defendants have threatened and intimidated them and that the government has not done enough to protect them. In April 2023, some of the witnesses, especially C4 and now the banker, come out publicly telling the world that the government had abandoned and left them to fend for themselves. The government needed to provide adequate security for the witnesses, financial assistance, housing and amenities that it had not taken their safety seriously. The government has not responded to these allegations and the witnesses stated that before their testimonies, these government officials were praising them for doing the right thing by standing up for decency, ethics, truthfulness and law and order. However, the witnesses believe that the government is in cahoots with the criminals because they, the witness, used to get monthly extortion money from the government through legitimate accounts at the banks. No question asked. So let me repeat this. You know. This is coming from one of the witnesses, you know, but the banker. You know. He said that they, they believe, the witness said they believe that the government is in cahoots with the criminals because they, the witness, used to get multi, mul, monthly extortion money from the government through a legitimate account at the banks. No question asked. So they were getting money, the criminals you know, were getting extortion. Old oh, anger sir, you have criminal extort the government. Uh, <laughs> no, all them things is mad, this you know, believe you be you know, so no wonder why. Well, as them say, it's a eater food place, you know. But them don't want to get rid of the criminality as with the bank I say and C4. Because if they, we, I've been, you know, I've been showing the, the police hierarchy when we were serving how to get rid of it, but the government do not want that. Because they make, they make money from crime. People in the government and them friends. So that's how it is. The fact that the witness have felt the need to take this thing publicly against the government is a sign that they are concerned about their safety, well-being and future. We at the Jamaica Young Police Channel would like to ask Corporate Jamaica where is your corporate social responsibility? The government needs to take these allegations seriously and protect the witnesses. 
The safety of the witnesses is essential to the integrity of the trial and it is vital that they feel safe to make others in the future come forward and testify freely without fear of reprisal. But based on the government's treatment of the witnesses, it is a form of deterrence and obstacle to prevent others who would like to testify. Not to do so because the system which is geared toward the criminals in Jamaica and not the law-abiding citizens. So we know they set up the system in Jamaica. Everything is geared toward the criminals and not the law-abiding citizens. It is certainly concerning that the government still need to do more to protect the citizens in the Klansman one Dan gang trial. This case is of national importance and the witnesses must be able to testify without fear of reprisal. There is a perception that our politicians are more interested in maintaining power and wealth than in ridding Jamaica of crime. That is true. And we see it. We see Mark Golden marching with Danville Palmer, the man who was a known killer. You understand? The perception is based on several factors, including the fact that the government has not been able to effectively address the root cause of crime by empowering the security force that it has done in the 1980s by the late Edward Siaga, who kept Jamaica, Jamaica safe for nine years solid. We can safely say that poverty, discrimination and inequalities are not the driving force behind crimes in Jamaica, but more about the culture of the people. Jamaican people have been cultured to be criminals by the system since 1989, after the PMP had won the general election and there has been no turning back. Because currently the PMP, the JLP LGBTQ plus party prime, uh, leader and prime minister is Michael Manny 2.0. So there's nothing that they're doing to rid the people, to, to de unclog the people's mind of supporting criminality and be criminal supporters and enablers. Nothing. This prime minister is Michael Manny 2.0. And we say that, we say that without any apology. It is important to remember that many people in Jamaica work hard to make the country safer. There are dedicated police officers, social workers and community leaders who are committed to fighting crime. However, they need the support of the government to be successful. Uh, government don't need, they got, uh, the people they know need the government support to be successful because it is just right there. All the people you just have to be just decency, honesty, ethics, you respect the, respect the law, you respect your neighbor. And you respect people's rights. That's simple as it. You you not supposed to fee say you bad on nobody and you can infringe on people's rights and kill people and then when you get killed now, everybody you innocent and you are good somebody. But the person who dead, yeah, the one that you kill, eh, he's a sucker. No, we know that. So we support the law, we support the police. We don't support the criminals. You understand? So we can see, yes, you know. However, they need, they, need the, they need the support of government to be successful. Still, we can see that there is a concerted effort by both political parties since the extradition of Christopher Duda Scott to make sure that the criminals flourish and members of the security force lose their rights and in turn become convicted felons through the Indicom Act. So let me repeat myself. The government, you know, the politicians, the lawmakers who are supporting the lawbreakers, they have made sure that they empower the criminals to make it easier for them to get away with crimes and persecuting the police officers. So that's why the crime is on the increase in Jamaica. And the people know that the politicians in Jamaica do not have their interests at all, but the criminals' interests at all. Because remember, you know, when the criminals commit crime, they commit crime against the, the citizens and the state of Jamaica. When they are arrested and shot, it's the state and the city of Jamaica have to provide liar fee for these people. That is criminal. That's a criminal's paradise. Socialize, socialism in criminality. The criminals are supposed to be finding them own liars. Yes. You hear them say $10 million for um, Valonita Robinson, Robertson. We think I'll pay that. Taxpayers. If they, you know, they were able to get out. You understand? So there is no other country on earth that has taken the rights of the police officers and strengthened the rights of criminals. There is no other country in the world that take away the rights of the police officers and strengthen the rights of criminals, give them more credence. You understand? Only 
this kind of policy is only in the criminal paradise called Jamaica. Yes, we at the Jamaica Young Police Channel have been saying for years that Jamaica is a criminal paradise. I hope that the government will take the allegation of witness, witnesses, please. This, and the soft and treat and stop treating them. Let, let them suffering as refugees, like refugees in their own country. You understand? In their country of birth, seriously, take steps to protect the witnesses in the Klansman Wandan trial. We at the Jamaica Young Police Channel also hope the government, Dr. Orius Chan, the Minister of National Security, the Prime Minister Andrew Olness. Mark Golden, the opposition leader, in which we know that Mark Golden have no interest in helping the witnesses because the witnesses testify against men who represent their party and they are the ones who are parasites on the people of Jamaica. You understand? And take the step to protect the witnesses in the clan management trial. Work with other stakeholders to develop a comprehensive plan to address the root cause of the witnesses' concern about the treatment by the government of Jamaica. Only by working together can we make Jamaica a safer place that everyone can live. But we have seen the leaders of the the leader of the opposition party, Mark Golden, marching with a known murderer killer, Danville Palmer, the leader of the opposition gang, in the presence of George Brown, which shows that the PMP LGBTQ plus party, if returned returns to power, dog near the support of the Jamaican people because men like Danville Palmer will have a seat, the hears, and input to the Jamaican Prime Minister Mark Golden. Which Jamaica do you want? You want a Mark Golden Jamaica with Danville Palmer or the ones that we had in the 1980s when criminals live in fear of losing their lives and law-abiding citizens were living in peace, tranquility, and safety. Have yourself a beautiful day. Jamaica, Young Police Channel, out.